Welcome to Ed Foodie. Today we're going to make a uh, different version of uh, mac and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. And this one's going to have a little bit of miso in it, which I love the flavor of miso. It just kind of really perks up the uh, flavor of anything you put in it. So uh, we'll just call this uh, miso mac and cheese. So let's get over to the stove top and start boiling our pasta. All right, I've got a big pot of water here boiling. I've got a 12 ounce pack of uh, medium shells. We're just gonna cook these according to the package for El Dante, and this will be 10 minutes for this one. Okay, what I've done, the camera wasn't filming. I just took the, uh, I took one cup of reserve liquid from the boiling pasta, and we're gonna use that later. If you forget to do that, that's fine. You can just use regular water. I've emptied the pasta into a colander, so it's draining over there. Now we're gonna use the same pan here, put it back on the stove top. Uh, I'm gonna put this on pretty low heat. I'm going to add uh, four tablespoons or a half a stick of butter. We're gonna let that melt down. Okay, my butter is melted. I'm gonna slowly sprinkle a half a cup of all-purpose flour into the butter. And I wanna keep stirring this constantly. Until we get all the flour into the butter. Kind of stir it, make sure it's very smooth and you don't get uh, lumps. You should get a kind of a nice smooth paste. Okay, now I'm going to slowly pour in uh, one cup of milk. Again, very slowly, keep stirring this. You want this to be very smooth and no lumps. Okay, I've got another cup of milk. Stir this in, let's go ahead and add a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. Let's go ahead and add in our last cup of milk, so that'll be a total of three. Okay, now we can add our pasta. probably easy, easily feed a family of five or six. I'm gonna put in, uh, let's put in half of this liquid from the pasta. Two tablespoons of, uh, I'm using the white miso. I got pretty good heaping tablespoons there. Okay, so what, I, what I've done on the cheese, I've got a, an eight ounce block of uh, cheddar cheese and I've grated it. We'll put all of that in there. And I definitely recommend buying the block cheese and grating it yourself. You know, as you see, this is if you would take this, put it in a bag, and put it in a grocery store, you know, it all kind of sticks together, and you probably wouldn't buy the grated cheese. 
and that's why they, they put some kind of chemical on this stuff to make it look nice and separate and pour out nice like on salads and stuff. And that's okay for that, but uh, the problem is it doesn't melt real nice and smooth. Sometimes you'll, you'll get kind of like grainy or lumpy, like sand in it. So that's why it's best to buy the block cheese and grate it yourself. Okay, let's put in some uh, fresh ground pepper, just to your liking. I like quite a bit, I don't know, maybe a half a teaspoon there. All right, I'm gonna dish a little bit up here and we'll taste it. I'm going to use a spoon so I can get all that creamy cheese. Mmm. That's good. Nice, nice little twist. You can definitely taste the miso. Mmm. I love macaroni cheese. Mm. Yeah, just yeah, a little something different. I, was, I like it. You're trying miso mac and cheese. Yes, let me try it on. Miso mac and cheese. Mm. Little Good. bit, little bit spicy? No, <laughs> not for me. You probably have some one. <laughs> Yeah, very good. Thank you. I like it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Ed Foodie right over there. Thank you so much for watching.